Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Hallelujah. Jesus is in this place. I want to thank everyone inside and outside. Those of you standing outside, I see you from here. To as far as my eyes can see, the Lord will visit you this night. In the name of Jesus. I want you to know that the Lord put together these miracle services is not a ritual. Are you listening to me? It's not a ritual. It's an act of his love. It's a demonstration of his power. To give us an opportunity to experience the power of the Holy Ghost at work in the life of his people. And if you get angry in your spirit and refuse, the Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee. I trust that at the end of tonight's meeting, many of you will be smiling home because you will know that finally, 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 the presence of God has set you free. In the name of Jesus. Be seated very quickly. God bless you. Acts chapter 3. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 3. I want to welcome as many people who have come from different parts of this nation hallelujah you have not come to see a man you have come to meet the almighty and I assure you you will not be disappointed in the name of Jesus praise the Lord Lord we thank you for what you are doing in our midst tonight glorify Jesus once again Acts chapter 3 Please, if you've not written your prayer requests, can you write it quickly? If you need to copy down some from your text message, maybe for your family members, do that quickly. Ushers, if it's possible to just help one or two people who are in need of something to write, or you can help someone by your side, please. Let's do that very quickly because we are going to collect them now. Hallelujah. Do it quickly because we'll collect it shortly. Acts chapter 3, verse 12. And when Peter saw it, he answered the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us, as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man walk? 13. The God of Abraham, and of Isaac, and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, 
has glorified his son Jesus whom ye delivered up and denied in the presence of Pilate and when he was determined and he was determined to let him go 14 but he denied the holy one and the just and desired a murderer to be granted unto you 15 and kill the prince of life whom God hath raised from the dead of which we are witnesses can we read 16 together one to read and his name true faith in his name had made this man strong whom ye see and know yea the faith which is by him had given this man perfect soundness in the presence of ye all the bible says true faith in his name faith in the name of jesus christ i like you to know tonight that miracles happen because of the power that is in the name of Jesus. Say amen. amen. The name of Jesus is powerful. The name of Jesus is not just a pronunciation. J-E-S-U-S. -S. The name of Jesus is an office in the realm of the spirit. Vested with all the authority that can be in God. Hallelujah. He said in my name. In my name ye shall cast out devils not by wearing suit not by speaking good english in my name they shall cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues and if you drink any deadly thing it will not hurt you jesus gave us a ministry and he sent us the bible says when he resurrected he said all hail all authority in heaven and in the earth have been given unto me he said go therefore i send you with my name when he sent the 70 the bible says they came back rejoicing and they said even the devils demons were subject to us only through thy name hallelujah the name of jesus is powerful are you listening to me the Bible says in Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5, it said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. He said, although he was God, he did not consider it to be robbery, but he humbled himself. Became a man. He died even the death on the cross. He said, wherefore, God had so highly exalted him and he gave him an identity, an office, and there was a decree in the heavens he said everywhere that name is mentioned let every knee bow of things in the heavens of things in the earth and of things under the earth and that every tongue will confess let me tell you every oppression has a name every sickness every challenge has a name and tonight they will bow to this majestic name of jesus the name of Jesus invokes the fullness of the power of heaven. It brings the power of heaven to the scene. When the name of Jesus is released with faith, there's nothing, there's no power in existence that can stop that name. Hallelujah. There is no power. A man had been lying by the gate beautiful. And the Bible tells us that when it was the hour of prayer, having been commissioned to walk in his name, in his office, in his authority. The Bible says Peter and John went to pray at the hour of prayer. Suddenly they saw this man. And the man began to beg for arms. And Peter said, look on us. And the Bible says he looked excited, expecting that they'll just give him money. God wants to do more than you came here for. Because the man just wanted money, but God wanted to make him whole. Hallelujah. And Peter said, silver and gold have I known. He said, but such as I have, it has been given to me. He said, in the name of the Lord Jesus, rise up and walk. And the man stood there and was just looking at them. Didn't get up, didn't walk. And the Bible says, Peter 
reached his hand and grabbed him and lifting him the bible says he leaping stood tonight what is that mountain before you tonight what is that challenge before you the bible lets us know that a name has been given unto him he said in my name they shall cast out devils tonight we represent a government and we represent an office given by heaven with the backing of his majesty and on account of that the lord will be terminating all kinds of things in this place years of struggle and delay will vanish overnight believe this believe this the bible says they had the word just like we did but the word did not profit them not being mixed with faith tonight god will change your story i assure you he will do it it is within his power he said if thou be willing you can make me clean he said i am willing be thou clean so what is it that you came here what challenge some of you came here with HIV viruses in your body that have defied medical attention. Some of you came here with terminal disease. It's a matter of life and death except God intervenes. Some of you came here with all kinds of heterogeneous oppressions of the devil. Heterogeneous. Some of you came here because you are tired. And you need some answers to your life. You're saying, Lord, it can't be like this. I love the song that the worship team minister. It, oh, it tore my spirit open. For how long will your family members continue to lament as if there is no God in Israel? For how long will you continue praying and fasting and begging? He said, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the set time to favor her. The time to favor her. Yea, the set time. Tonight can be your set time if you are interested in what I'm saying. Hallelujah. That you say, Lord, turn me into another man this captivity in my life change it change my story one joblessness to another joining the rat race of struggling people in Nigeria today you can make up your mind and say Lord I contact power in the heavens all kinds of oppressions by demonic strongholds it can go mental bondage mental blockage you can be set free from it tonight marital delays marital delays it can go tonight you will see how helpless satan is at the name of jesus christ i assure you hallelujah sickness in your body every kind of discomfort confusion in your life some of you are weary you came here as a last resort you just said god i'm tired and i pray that you will find rest tonight in the name of jesus many of you traveled from far and near i'm aware that there are people who came from as far as yola and other parts of this country i can only imagine what these people were saying in the car Say, Lord, I'm coming to Zaria to meet with you. God is everywhere, but his manifest presence to demonstrate the sovereignty of Christ is not everywhere. Hallelujah. Tonight, I'd like you to look at your prayer request for one minute. Pick it up and look at it. If you brought it, look at it look at it get angry about it i didn't say laugh at it look at it look at the things you wrote with your own hands do you believe god is able to do it 
Some of you is building projects. Some of you is to change your genotype, your blood group. Some of you is to terminate the works of darkness. Some of you, there, there are roles of your family members who have not married. The youngest person in your family is 30 years old. No man is coming to ask their hand in marriage. Don't say it does not matter because that's your cry in the secret place and you wrote it. Hallelujah. There are many of you, your parents have been on projects for years. Donkey years. Hallelujah. Some of you are struggling, students. Even in this exam right now, there are some people who are already crying and lamenting. There are some of you final year students who are here, you know if God does not help you, you are in for a shock. But I have good news for you. Jesus is in this place tonight. He's not here to watch you beg and roll on the floor. It is his good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Listen, number one, you must believe that God wants you blessed and he wants you out. You must look, that's why I say you should look at the prayer, the prayer points. You must believe. If you do not believe that God wants these things out of your life or wants to bring these things into your life, then there's no point listening to me. Because the Bible says, for without faith, it is impossible to please God. For whoever must come unto him must believe that he exists and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Who is there like you? Oh Lord, you who created us. In your likeness, who is the light? Oh, oh Lord, it's an honor, Lord, to stand and worship you. So I lift my hands to the great I am. Was and who is and is to come and is to come. Lift the hands. I lift my hands to the great to I the great am. I am. Who can compare? Who can compare with you? Jesus, nobody, nothing can stand your presence. I don't care what medical report you are holding in this place tonight. I don't care what medical report you brought. SS, AS, hallelujah. I don't care what HIV, cancer, tumor, arthritis, name it. I don't care what else is in your prayer requests. If God is alive, he will do wonders tonight. I know this. Cabiosio, 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 Cabiosio. There's nothing that defies the power of the living God. When the nation of Israel stood and the Red Sea was before them, Egyptians were coming with anger to take them back to where they were. What's that worship song again? You could sing that song again. I've forgotten. Who is talking? What are you saying? Eh? Wait. Uh -huh. Before your presence came and changed me. I was singing it boldly, boy. Sing it again. I won't go back. I won't go back. Hold on. From where? You left Egypt peacefully. And, and Pharaoh said, I won't let them go. Do you know? Listen. Listen. 
Do you know that the fact that God wants to release you does not mean Satan is ready to let you go? It takes power. The Bible says when Moses came and told Pharaoh, he said, Mr. Man, God has sent me. And Pharaoh laughed. Say, which God? There are many. Which one are you talking about? Hallelujah. And he threw his rod. And Pharaoh brought his wise men. They threw their rods too. Tonight there are demons positioned. There are devils positioned. They've been planning since beginning of this month that you won't go. It takes force. He said, through the greatness. He said, how awesome are your ways, O Lord. Through the greatness of thy power will thy enemies submit themselves. Not through grammar. Through the, it takes power. Authority is useless without power. A police officer can stop a car and the truck will come and kill him and say, you are wasting my time. Get out of the way. That's a powerless authority. But when you have authority, that there are angels standing to supervise that this word comes to pass. You are not alone in this place. I won't go back. You left Egypt on your way to your prophetic destiny. Now Pharaoh begins to ride upon that horse. Mimicking Christ who rides upon his horse also. The Bible says there was a Red Sea. And the nation of Israel began to murmur and Moses went to God. He says, stand still. Exodus 14, 14. Fear not, be still. He said, for these Egyptians that you see, have the privilege of looking at them at, for the last time. That's why I told you, look at your report. Because he says, these Egyptians you see, you will never, never. And it became true in the Bible because they didn't see those Egyptians again. God opened the ground for them. Whatever God needs to do tonight, if the ground needs to open, if the ground needs to fill, if a boat to, is to come and carry you to your place, whatever needs to be done is within the power of God. But I know, he said, I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and its riders have been thrown, swallowed permanently. You know why they, if they bury a man in water, that's the worst form of death. There's no hope of seeing you. That's why they bury Bin Laden that way. Someone can dig the grave to wipe your memory from the face of the earth. You won't go back. What again? Back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. That's what is happening to you. Refuse to go back. Say, Lord, that habit, been struggling with masturbation, been struggling with pornography. I've prayed, I've fasted, I've done night vigils. Tonight, tonight, I contend against those powers. Once and for all. Hallelujah. It keeps working for others until it gets to your turn. Hallelujah. There are families like that. Doors keep opening for every other person until it comes to the point of your father or your mother. Tonight, God will visit families. Oh, God will visit families. You notice the last three or so miracle services, we've been concentrating on families. God wants to step in and do miracles in families. Everything you lay your hands on doesn't work. Everything you lay your hands on. You own the shop. You eat everything there by yourself. Because there's nobody to come and buy it. Someone opens another shop before you. And you're watching. Listen. Life is spiritual. If you are yet to know that, know it today. Say after me, life is spiritual. Aha, uh -huh. things don't just happen like that. You orchestrate things to happen. To Job he spoke, he said, have thou commanded thy money? thou commanded thy morning it takes authority i'm saying this so that when when the time comes to minister you tell this you tell the devil pack your load and disappear from my life once and for all once and what for all not once and come back later once 
and for all because there are many people who have received some of the miracles you are writing here before and it came back you see let me tell you something the degree of your anger tonight say it must go once and wrong your mother or your sister struggled with barrenness and then they took in you even get testimony and you are laughing later they said there was a miscarriage come on it will go tonight once and for all for the bible says god opened the womb of rachel god opened the womb of hannah it's god that opens wombs oh it's not medical paracetamol or so on and so forth god opens wombs if god opens it no devil in existence can shut it hallelujah there are some of you they've prophesied to you even some of your lecturers have spoken to you they call you the dullest student in the class they say you are good for nothing you patch wire here three credits you added another one later you beg with the third one they say they don't accept they just allowed you but let me tell you something there is an unction that will come upon you tonight it will change your story the bible says they looked at saul and they say is saul also a prophet hallelujah terminal disease of all sorts that's why i said heterogeneous manifestations of evil don't you ever tell me god is responsible for what happened to you are you listening to me he said the enemy has done this and so you must rise up and say lord my mother was oppressed from her office they kicked her out because of her innocence. If you are God, tonight we settle the issue of her job. Tonight we settle every issue. There are some lecturers that were withdrawn from ABU. If you know any of them or any of them is your father, tonight is the night you get angry and say, Lord, it is over. Am I making sense to someone here? This is the session. You tell yourself you're going to come in with a CGPA that if men here they will ask you and say from whence comment this. <laughs> Hallelujah. Tonight we will open doors that have been closed. Hallelujah. And doors that Satan opened by himself will close both him and the door and close them out forever. Both him and the door. It's only when you are seeing a visitor that he can harass you. When you close him and the door, he goes out forever. Hallelujah. Oppressions of the devil. Tonight is the night when you say, Lord, I will step up. Everybody is announcing, say, God is blessing. Jake is announcing and say, God is opening doors. I'm sure that there are some families who are here seated. They are even doubting and saying, God, will you really do this this night? Some of you invited your family members. Some of you outside, while you're listening, some people are even doubting and saying, will God really change my story? Because one prophet or one apostle spoke like this oh, some months ago. You watch what God will do tonight. For you won't go back. You can't go back. To the way it used to be Before your presence came and changed me There is a name that has been given unto us The name of the Lord Jesus Christ The exalted son of the living God Greater than every herbalist Greater than every sickness in your body greater than every medical condition i like you see tonight is the night you will stamp medical reports and say i stamp you tonight is the time for your genotype to change it's the time for the anointing of the spirit to walk in your life why is it not you why not see listen listen there are some of you that like receiving for others you have trained your faith to receive for others so when the word is coming like this you just exempt yourself why not you ask your neighbor say why not you 
Say it. Why not you? What is wrong with God prospering you? What is wrong with God changing your story? Is it a sin if your family celebrates a new car? Must they die like that? They already love God. Is it a crime for God to bless your family? I'm speaking to someone here. Is it a crime that they dedicate a house and stop being harassed by landlords? Is it that God cannot do it? If a rich man promises you now, you will start dancing. But God is here giving you an open check tonight. Some of our parents have been working for 14 years, 15 years, because they will not compromise, they have refused to promote them. And he's telling on many of you, your parents are already becoming hostile to everyone at home. Tonight we have come to change these things. Some of you have received all kinds of devilish prophecies over your life. They've said you will not amount to anything. But I have a shock for Satan tonight. You know, when you have a present, you first bring it out. You don't know what is inside, but you know there's a present. You will make a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Like Haman, they are the ones who will orchestrate your victory as you ride upon that horse. See, in case you don't know, if you are a visitor here, let me tell you a few things. We deal ruthlessly with Satan in this place. Are you listening to me? Because we identify him to be the source of men's failure and predicaments in life. He said the enemy, the Bible calls him a thief. Anything that a thief has is not his own. Where did he get it from? Answer me, where did he get it from? From who? The owner. The Bible calls him a thief. He has stolen the joy of some people and some families. There are many of you now, your families are at the verge of divorce. Your father has not spoken to your mother for years because one woman in the village said all kinds of rubbish tonight. Some of you, your loved ones have been missing. You even thought they are dead. They will come back. Oh yes. He shouted the voice of Lazarus and in hell, Lazarus had it. Your own, they've not gone to hell yet. They will hear this night. Tonight, every stubborn spirit that exists on the earth, that is at work in everyone will be released tonight. Because when we did the teaching about destiny helpers, do you know that there are human beings that have the art of allowing themselves to host demons and cause catastrophe for others? Oh, in case you don't know, know it now. When Jesus was born, he suddenly found out that they were looking for him to kill him. Question, sir, who did he offend? Oh, don't offend me. Don't offend you. <clears throat> Paul and Enche said, this, the earth is a battleground, not a playing a football field. That my change will come tonight. That my change will come tonight. I won't give up, Lord, I won't give up, I'll keep pressing on, till my answer comes, if there is such an anointing, I won't give up, Lord, I won't give up, I'll keep pressing on. Those of you who have been marked by the spirit of death, who will cause it out of your life. Are you listening to me? One more time, look at your prayer request for the very last time, and I mean business. Ushers, please get set because we'll collect the prayer requests so that when we start, we don't need to be interrupted. Speak to it. Any goodbye forever. I've waited for this time. Pack your load out of my life. Uh -huh. You are not reciting a poem. You are prophesying. He says, son of man, prophesy. Son of man, prophesy.
look at it for the last time and say Jesus I believe in you you are greater than this report you are greater than this challenge tonight it will answer to your name if it doesn't respect me it will respect the name of Jesus now begin to pray in tongues as you pass that prayer request to the last person at the aisle outside do it quickly just pass it to the last person at the aisle ushers direct them please quickly this is the confidence that I have in you whenever I call you will answer this is the confidence that I have in you whenever I call This is my confidence, Lord. This is my confidence that I have in you. Whenever I go, you will handsome me. This is the confidence. minute i like you to pray for your loved ones say lord from here let this unction lead to their homes make sure you are praying call them by name call them by name they are not as anointed as you are standing for them call them by name call them by name say lord for my sister call them by name your name must answer to them. Kata balata, rata parikata, leke borosotaya. Call them by name. Say, I release an unction to my home. I release angels. Lord, as you are doing it here, do it there. As for me and my house, and my house. Pray for them. Lagos, Abuja, Maiduguri, Bauchi State, Yobe, Zamfara, Koki, wherever. Do a miracle, oh God. Do a miracle, oh God. I know you will do it. I know you will do it. Raise the dead. Change their status. Hallelujah. Now, hallelujah. There's someone that has been on my mind. Even while I was traveling back today, I was thinking about the person. He came all the way from, I think, Yobe, Sale. Where is he? Please come. The Lord will begin with you tonight. Please ushers position yourself inside and outside because there will be a rain in this place. Hallelujah. Listen. You will be 
be set free. Where did you come from? Please, technical, can you help us? Where did you come from? Bauchi, Bauchi State. Okay, from Bauchi. Yes. I want you to know that God will do a miracle in your life. Amen. You believe that? Yes, I believe. You came full of faith. Yes. The Lord will set you free right now. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That devil. Come out of him right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Just breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. I set you free right now at the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Listen. Please. I want to see those who have heart conditions. You came here. Hear me outside, please. We don't have time to waste. We are not going to have to mention cases individually. But when, when we call your case, Please run out. We're going to pray and see as far as God wants to finish fast so that we'll end quickly. Heart conditions. Leave your seat and come out here quickly. Either a hole in the heart or an abnormal heart formation. Quickly, quickly. Appreciate them as they line up here. Ushers coordinate them. Heart conditions. Please come and line up here quickly. That devil is a liar. Heart condition. Growing up, they told you you have a heart condition. Come out and line up here. Come out and line up here. No matter how old you are or how young you are. Please line up. Line up. Straight line. Line up. Usher, direct them, help them. Hallelujah. As you're standing here, I'd like you to wait bye bye to it. Because I know the unction of the spirit is here. God will set you free. Baba, God will set you free, sir. And everyone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, sirs, we'll minister quickly. We'll just minister to them. Hallelujah. Praise God. I tell you, there is an unusual unction in this place. As hands are laid on you. Hallelujah. Return back thanking the Lord and check if you are still seated in the crowd and you know you have a heart condition. Don't sit back there. God wants to change your story. Hallelujah. There's someone who has an unusual palpitation. I don't know what it is. You the way you the way you breathe sometimes it's literally holding you and choking you, you are the one, look at me because it's a devil of darkness your own is not just sickness, look at me in the name of Jesus I command that devil of darkness let her go in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus let her go 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 you are a devil of darkness come out, come out Come out of her now. Come out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Come. My sister, you too. Come. Some of you that are standing. As hands are laid, you will find out that it wasn't sickness. My dear, God will set you free right now. Because your own is an oppression. Look at me. Are you, are you listening to me? There is a devil that has oppressed this girl. You will go. 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 Go in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Greater than any other name. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing a dark object coming out of you. Come out of her now. Sister, look at me. I'll pray for you. God will set you free. You believe that? Now thou foul devil, let this girl go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go! 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 Let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
I say, you won't hide. Come on, I see you in the spirit. Go out of her in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. John Capitalist, Minister Jakes, Bishop. Let's begin to. As they lay hands, they will speak to your life. Don't just think they are laying hands. Hallelujah. Please stand. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. As hands are laid, begin to pray while you're standing. Out of him now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed now. I curse that devil of darkness. Go. 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 Be healed in the name of Jesus. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Out of her. Right, devil of darkness. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Let him go. Let him go now. Let him go. Let him go. Go. Be healed. Sister, I curse that devil. Because I also see oppression in your sleep. That demon of darkness. Go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus made whole right now be made whole oh God is not done with you God is not done with you be healed in the name of Jesus as you go back to your seat check yourself be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. What's wrong? Be made free right now. In the name of Jesus. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. Set free right now from every oppression. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, only outside, not inside. All of you outside, lift your hands. Not those inside. Please, those inside. Lift your hands, those outside. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. The fire of God will terminate the works of darkness. So many of you are under influences of the devil. Hallelujah. Only those outside. At the count of three, as you shout, the power of God comes upon you. One. Two, three. Let the fire fall. I curse devils. I curse demons. Go, go, go. Bring them in, ushers. Go, go. Let the fire fall. Bring them in. Bring them in. The fire fall all across the building. Outside. All across. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Fire is falling. Those outside. One more time. Those outside. Shout Jesus. 
Outside, the fire of God comes upon you now, right now. That oppression over your life. Two ladies sitting in the same row. Look at me. We've not finished, so we've not finished. If it's possible. If it's possible, the ministers are going to separate themselves into three and walk across the crowd outside. No devil will survive today. Brother, I see a serpent, not a man. Come out of him now. Out of him now. A devil of darkness. Come out of him. Come out of him. I see a snake, not a man. Come out of him. Come out of him. Come out of him. Fire I'm seeing a snake, not a human being. You see the way he's behaving? Look at what he's doing. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Come out of him. In the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Leave him, leave him, go. Go, go, go. As you touch me, you touch fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out of him. He must be free. Come out of him. Come out of him now. Come out of him. Come out of him. Come out of him now. 
fire upon you. Let fire upon you. Out, 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 out. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. Hold on. I set you free. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Leave him. Look at he's free. Look up. Look at this gentleman. Someone who came oppressed of the devil. Brother, you are free in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pick him up. Stand up, my brother. Look at, see, he's even surprised. Look at. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look at me. Look at me. Do you know when you came out here? Where were you? You came outside. Help me with the mic. What's your name? Samuel. Eh? Samuel. Where are you coming from? Danaka. Look at this guy. Outside. He doesn't even know that he's here. Look at him surprised looking at everybody. The Lord perfect you and set you free. Where was the lady you were praying for? Pray, this lady. See, I see an old woman. That's what I'm seeing. Turn this lady. I see a very old woman. Come on now. Come out of her. Come out of her. You're not done. Come out of her. Come out now. She lay down as though it's done. You are not done. You are spiritual people here. Out of her now. Out of her by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out of her right now. That foul devil. In Jesus' name. Leave her alone. She's free. Look at you. What's wrong with this woman? Who brought her? Please, if you brought someone, make sure you stand close to the person. Who brought mama? Who are you? Come. Well done. What's her name? Lydia. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past three years now. For the past three years. Look at. She had dislocation. She had what? Dislocation on her shoulder. She could Since not when? Carry mama, she can she talk? Yes, I can. Mama, talk. how are you? I'm well. Well done, eh? What's the issue? Oh, this hand now is dislocated. Yes, it was since December last year. December? Uh, that I went to the toilet on my way coming back. Something you see? From my you, face always, you always know the signature of Satan when you see it. I'm not so, teaching you to be demon conscious. I'm back, just I telling just you that. Myself sitting on the ground. You did what? I said on my way coming back. I found my on the way from the toilet. Yes. How old are you, mama? I'm 51. 51. I found sitting on the ground. You not found that, yourself sitting on the yeah, ground. That, I don't know it, uh, it happened. Not that I fell down flat. So. And, okay, come. You are her daughter. Let, let her talk. I was taken to a that is not stroke because immediately it happened. My left hand and left leg seized. Your left I, leg right now is not moving. No, it's moving. What of your right hand? The what right, is wrong with that, it? No, nothing happened. It's only the left leg and the left hand. I seized immediately. Then I was rushed to the hospital. So the bleeding will stop. No, and no. The case of the bleeding is different from. I was taken to the hospital that uh, it was cancer of the womb. Cancer of the womb. Yes. You see, have it. Yes. It's going to go. This is what so, I'm saying. That it was not stroke. That it was partial stroke. It was what? Partial stroke. Partial stroke. Then, the following, I was in the hospital for. Two weeks. I know. I, I told them the doctor that I want him to discharge me. I want to go for prayer. So I went to, for prayer in Nosarawa State. So the, the following day, in in the prayer house. It's I time move, for you I to move, go. I go. 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 Out of her now. Out of her now. Now in the name of Jesus, that devil. Out of her now. Fire on you. Fire on you. In the name of Jesus, fire upon you. Go, 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 go. Sorry, Mama. So I moved my leg. So I went. From okay, what, what, I is, went what, okay, so what is wrong with you right now? What, what did now, you come with right the now? Cancer of the womb. Cancer of the womb. We are bleeding. Then 
your hand. The hand. These are the two conditions. Now that I fell down flat, so I discovered that I have dislocation on my shoulder. So. Okay, it's all right. The hand has been fixed locally, but up to now I couldn't move the hand. But I'll pray for you. Amen. I'll pray for you. Yes. All right. Can you feel my hands? Can you feel my hands? Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My God, do wonders in this hand right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Perfect this hand. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. That devil of darkness, your hold is taken from my hands. In the name of Jesus. 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 fingers. Yes. Every pain go. I command you to go. You are of the spirit of darkness. I challenge you. Try lifting it up. Lift both of your hands up. Try it. Just try lifting your hands up. Can you? Try lifting it up. In the name of Jesus. You feel pains? You feel pains where? Here. Your shoulder. By the power of the Holy Spirit, begin to move it more. In the name of Jesus, begin to move it. Start moving it. Start moving it. Start moving it. Start moving it. In the name of Jesus, I cast that devil. I cast that devil. Can you wind your hand? Try and wind this hand. Just look at me. Look at me. out blood I'm seeing someone that coughs out blood you cough all the time you cough out blood please hurry up you cough out blood literally who is the person inside are they hearing me outside quickly if you identify that person let the person come you cough out blood literally come out Please clear the way for them. Ah, look at oppression. This is what I'm seeing. Come on now, get out of her. Out of her now. Out of her now. Out of her in the name of Jesus. Out of her now. Out of her, thou devil of darkness. I curse you by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Not only this lady, but the members of her family have been oppressed. Lay your hands on her chest. In the name of Jesus, I curse that power of darkness. Be free. Totally. Now. In the name of Jesus. Since when? For the past two weeks. For the past two weeks. Have you gone to the hospital? 
Can I pray for you? You believe Jesus will lay your hands on your chest. You will feel a fiery sensation upon your chest right now. Now you hear my voice. Let her go. 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 Hallelujah. Those of you inside, lift your hands. I'm going to ask the cymbal to clash and the string play. Listen, when that happens, the fire of the spirit will move across anyone here under any oppression of darkness. You must go. This is not a negotiation. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. At the count of three, begin to clash the cymbal. One, two, three. Kashatabata. Go, 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 Satan be exposed. Satan be exposed. For this purpose was the Son of God. Satan be exposed. Light shine. I release fire. 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 fire upon this congregation. Fire. 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 Fire upon you. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. Fire. 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 You can't stand it. No devil can stand it. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire is burning. The fire is burning. You can't stand it. Satan, go, go. It's time for God's people to go. It's time for destinies to be opened. It's time for what has made you to cry to end. Bring them out. I see you in the spirit. Leave her. Leave her. Go. 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 I see you in the spirit. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. 
To teach you a lesson, Madam, stand up. No, 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 not her. Not her. You are a devil of darkness. For how do you think you can hide in the presence of God's light? Look at me. Bring the mic for me. You are not gone completely. Oh, you are a devil of darkness. Out of her now. On your mark, get set, go, go, go. Go, go, out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. As you touch me, you touch fire. As you touch me, you touch the fire of the spirit. He make it is out of her now. Out, 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 out. Out, out. Come out of hand. She's free. In the name of Jesus. Madam, it will not stand fire from my hands to your head. If I be a servant of God, you stand around fire. In the name of Jesus, come out of her. This woman's destiny has been tied down. Lord, who is the person? Let the fire of God catch up with the person right now. God shows me this room. There's one person. My hands. Let the fire of the spirit separate that person now 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 stand up madam don't feel embarrassed calm down hallelujah look at me look at me look at me i want you to look at me look at my eyes Look at my eyes. See, this woman has suffered. You just see someone walking. Things are not going right. People speak all kinds of grammar. And Satan is advancing. Mama, please come. Jangfa is going to speak to you. I sense, please, Mama. You are free. Take her outside. I see her coughing, whatever. Please take her outside for God's sake so we don't litter this place. Take her outside. I don't know if it's poison or whatever it is that she took. Take her outside. You're still not out. Go out, go out, go out now. Out, go out. Go out in the name of Jesus. Go out of her. Go out of her. Come. Place your hand on this lady's chest. Out of her. Come out of her now. I release fire upon you. Foul devil. Out of her. Patata tata ta kapa. Rakata posa tali. Rekete kete kete. Le gronto zopo rotata. Riata la kosiaba. All right, your reign in this life is over. On your mark, set, 
Go. 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 You can't stand it. Go. 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 I prophesy to you today. After today, your life will begin to move as if Satan does not exist. Are you listening to me? Every oppression, those outside hear me. Every oppression challenging your family through the greatness of the power that is in the name of Jesus, that challenge will bow. Don't let her go. Bring her back. Come, sweetheart. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just keep looking. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. I'm seeing your father's face on your face. Look at my eyes. Just look. For she will go free. The children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers. Right now, you and the spirit of death upon her get lost get lost get lost get lost Up your heads, O oh ye gates, be ye lifted, O oh ye ancient doors, and the King of Glory will come in. in Jesus' name, you're free. Come, Mama, bring that lady who is falling. See, tonight, many of you, you will go back rejoicing. He who has the Son, has the We have the Son, so we have the Lay your hands on her stomach. Out. 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 In the name of Jesus. What is it? Cancer. Who said so? The doctors. Lay your hands there. Interpreter Selena, where is she? She's walking. Tell her Jesus, okay, okay. Tell her Jesus Christ is going to heal her right now. See, she's crying. See, tell her Jesus will heal her now. Is she looking at you? Look at her. Tell her, Mama. Jesus will heal you. Look at, look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I can't sleep in the night. I can't breathe. Look at this. This is somebody's mother. This is somebody's mother.
Take him to the front. Those of you outside, I want you to know that Jesus is in this place. There is someone I need in this room. The devil has oppressed you. Then, and the Holy Ghost spoke to me. He said, come out. Two of you, all of you in this room, lift your hands. That devil is a liar. As I, I shout the name of Jesus, the fire of God will come. People, please let me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release fire right now. My father, locate those two people right now in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God fall, fall, fall. Two of them, two of them. There's one already, two of them. Fall. Shatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatat
pick him up. Guy, this guy has been so oppressed of the devil. This lady has dreams and she meets with people. Go out of her. Go out of her. Just let him, let him lie down. When he's ready to stand up. This guy is so weak. He doesn't even know that he has been under all kinds of bondages of Satan. Who prayed? Let me pray for you. Mama, you believe Jesus has authority over cancer? You do? Because he's going to go. Oh yes, it will go. Hmm? Lay your hands there. See, I, I'm touching it. It's looking like a stone. Out of her! Out of her! Out of her! Devil of darkness. It's not cancer. It's a spirit. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. As the sun has eternal life. Hallelujah. Mama, who brought Mama out? Eh? I said, Who is Grace? Oh, I was actually talking about some. Bring the man or the wheelchair and on crutches. Let him come and stand here. Please, if we have not called your case, don't just come out. We'll give room for that. But let him stand. Sir, please, can you come and minister to this woman for time's sake? Bring him here. Sir, you're welcome. Look at me. What's wrong with you? Accident. On which leg? This leg. What's wrong with the leg? Operation. Operation. They did surgery. And it's not working. You want to walk? Yeah. You believe Jesus will set you yeah. free? Clear the way for him. He was the son. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You believe in Jesus Christ? Can you walk without with it? Are you feeling pains? Yes. Right Where? Right what of this leg? Look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I set you free. I command your leg to straighten out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. Walk. Come, follow me. Follow me. Can you walk? Try it. Just take a step and see. What's wrong with the legs? It's heavy. Where? But can you bend it like this? Try and bend it. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? God is healing you. Keep moving it. Move it. Move it. You just do what I'm telling you to do. Move it. Move it. Now move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Can we try and walk now? Hold this one. Hold my hands. Walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Try and match it down. Is it because of the metal? There's a metal inside his leg. So it's limiting him from walking. Hallelujah. So they must remove the metal. They can't. Oh, they put it here permanently. Lord, let this metal become his bones. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This metal. Melt away. Amen. Bring the chair forward. Let him sit down. Please, ministers, move across the crowd. We don't have time. Go ahead. Okay, Jamfa is already ministering. 
Some people outside just move and minister to people. Join them, Kenny. Someone should take on this role. Vivian. I'm hearing the name Vivian. Pastor, sir, yes. Vivian. Who is Vivian? A fair lady called Vivian. No, no, a fair lady called Vivian. The Lord is showing me a fair lady called Vivian. Vivian. Sister, stand up. Look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Thou foul devil. Go. 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 In Jesus' name. Be set free. Leave I alone. Vivian. What's wrong with you? Eh? People come to you and oppress you in a dream. Is that correct? Do you know me? Have, you, have I talked with you before? You want to be free? You'll be free right now. Oga John, it's time for you to enter God's plan and purpose for your life. Are you listening to me? Because you are not supposed to be a photographer. Are you listening to me? You are supposed to have gone far beyond this level. God didn't just bring you to Koinonia to snap. Please take the, photo, the camera. Victor can snap, so be doing it in the interim. You believe what I'm telling you? Uh -huh, because I see that how many people drink in your family? Tell the truth and shame the devil. How many? Two people, sir. You and who? Again, yes, sir. you used to drink. Yes, sir. Have you stopped yes, sir. completely? Yes, sir. Praise God. But the Lord will set you free. Hmm? Because in your family, women. Uh -uh. You believe that? Yes, eh? See, let me tell you the truth. This is not your destiny in Christ. This happened as a result of frustration. Is that correct? Many things, school didn't work. Many things happen. Even Waiek, you don't even have your complete result. Is that true? Help me. Is that true? That's true? God will set you free. Hallelujah. You believe that? I want to speak into your destiny and call it forth into where God wants you to be. That devil is a liar. Come out of him now. Come out of him. I release your glorious destiny. The days of oppression are over. Rise up beyond the photographer. Become the leader and the entrepreneur that God has destined for you to be. See, listen. It's not that this guy is lazy. I hope you know that. It's not that he's lazy. Ella, come. Abigail, come. Wumi, come. Three of you, come and stand here. For the sake of your families. The time has come. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. A devil of darkness. Out. Now. Now. Shatata rata. Reketele mo subariata. Brento kapiata laka. Rakata baba baba baba. Out. Out. Fire upon you. Setele ke pariata. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered fire 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 be set free right now in the name of jesus you have a glorious destiny no devil will hold you down 
in the name of Jesus lawful captives be free I release you that devil of temper and anger go go I command you be free the plague of death over your family go 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 I come in I command that terminal disease now it's time time up time up you are a devil go in the name of Jesus be free fire upon you fire upon you fire upon you that devil cannot stand fire upon you it's time to be free time to be free time to be free leave her let her go this lady has suffered too long you've held her destiny down go in the name of Jesus once again come I stopped praying for you for a reason please take this guy home this gentleman look at me see Cummings do you know that your life listen listen I saw upon this guy the spirit of Cain and I didn't know what it was he was lying down there that was why I walked there and laid my hands upon you know the curse that was upon Cain bring them out God is not done with them yet you know the curse that was upon Cain he said he won't die but he will be a wanderer this is how this guy's life has been today you are in Lagos tomorrow you are here next tomorrow you are this it's time for your freedom free oh He was the sun, has the time. My dear, come and stand here. Yes. Come and stand here. Birthday girl, you are the one who celebrated your birthday today. We are going to pray and minister to people. The ministers are, sir, you, you are done? Ah, please pray, oh. Please, take time and speak into their lives. I beg you. These people came to receive. Ministers, go around, please. Prophesy to them. Where's Jamfa? Jakes, please. Please move around. Where are the people I called out now? My dear, you know, the devil wants to make your life a waste. So you are moving, but you are not accomplishing anything. But the Lord loves you. And tonight, the eye of the Lord is upon you. Hallelujah. You believe that? Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Just look at me. Lord, let this lady be free from every oppression of darkness in the name of Jesus be free I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost look at me I'm seeing you pregnant drive every useless man out of your life are you listening to me I'm not saying you are pregnant now I'm saying I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit, not physically. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, don't, please, kick any man who wants to come and talk grammar around you. Because I'm seeing that you are going to three countries. Number one, South Africa. Huh? Number two, UK. Number three, Canada. These three countries. The Lord is taking you there. Hold on. But then I see a lot of resistance rising up from wherever. I may not be able to talk all this with you because we're in the presence of people. But I want to pray for you. It's time. See, three things will happen. One, a passion for God you cannot recover from. The ministers are ministering to people around. 
while they are that devil let me tell you cast out every devil prophesy release people to their prophetic destinies let her go 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 time up thou devil of darkness be free now be free now I command that wicked spirit depart from your life fire right now all over your body I release the fire of the Holy Ghost all over you right now leave her let her go for she shall not be called Jabez that's what the Lord says I should say because you were born in sorrow you will not be called Jabez tonight I enlarge your coast in the spirit my dear look at me from today you will walk into your prophetic destiny see you don't know what it is that has happened to you now even you you cannot answer but look at me you are a very good girl are you listening to me but you are assuming the character of another person tonight the Lord sets you free this lady is a wonderful lady beyond your imagination but sometimes you see her doing things that even her does not know because I see the spirit of anger and rage I mean rage almost to kill somebody but the Lord sets you free and this is what I'm seeing in the spirit I'm seeing you move from the side and you are climbing a ladder and the Lord says restore this is what I prophesy restore this is what will begin to happen to you restore Ifai, Ifai, hearing the name Ifai, Ifai, who is Ifai? Ifai, now, if you brought someone for healing from outside Zaria, quickly bring them phone, quickly, we have to round up. Quickly, please bring them. If you invited someone, no matter how far you are outside, bring the person, sir. Come. It's time for the Lord to set you free. Not only in your health, but on every area of your life. You believe that? Hmm. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. All right now, I speak to you. I open up that door I challenge the works of darkness go by the fire of the Holy Ghost one two three the Lord perfects you who brought this man what's wrong with him bring them forward he has what? His sight. He used to be bigger than this. But what happened? Because I'm seeing something like a rock upon his head. Who is Silvanus? Sir. Does he drink? Who is your friend that drinks? He's not my friend. He's drinking. He's drinking. Yes, you need to get him born again and serious with God. Right? I want to pray for you right now. Your weight will come back. Your life will be restored. And your eyes, you will begin to see clearly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stephanus. Silvanus. From where? From where? Hindogo. Eh? Hindogo. I A U. Hindogo. Hindogo. Ah, okay. You are born again. You love Jesus Christ, but you won't do ministry the way you are planning. You will start afresh with God, right? So disable all those man of God thing. You will start afresh. Primary one, two, three, four, five. God will anoint you, right? I'm going to pray for you. You believe what I'm saying, and leave all your friends who are deceiving you, huh? 
you are going to be a great man, but you are not yet that man, so you will stay in the school of the spirit. Hmm? These teachings that you people jump and pride over, they are basic things in the spirit. Let God work with you. From today, you begin a new journey. Hold my hands. Lord, put a fire upon him right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A new beginning, fresh start. Just breathe in and out. As deep as you can. In and out. Baba, be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Who brought him? He came on his own. What's wrong with you? Migraine. Put your hands on your head. Lay it. To, but he will first set you free then you will begin a walk with him any appetite and anything that does not belong to him will give way you will be surprised what you begin to do in your life okay look at me what am I doing one leg in where's the other leg why because this is how your life is it's time for you to love him with every passion hmm? So I break everything that is not of God in the realm of the spirit. Let the fire of God take over. Take over your life. Take over her life. Foul spirit, let her go. Lord, anoint her and use her. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Please do it quickly. Someone help her. Lift up your hands. I look to you. saw the sun rising over your family and then I heard this song I will wait for you Jesus you're the sun in my the days of oppression are over you are standing on behalf of your family Something is happening to your father right where I'm holding. The Lord is setting him free. Today the Lord is giving you the mantle that was upon your mother. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Because as I look at you I see her face. And the Lord says I should tell you to run with the spirit of power. Whatever you decree will happen. The Lord will establish you and you will be a mother indeed. That all your times of tears will be taken away by a new joy. Take this message to your father for the Lord visits your family tonight. What was I doing? Okay, the ministers are still... Okay, those that are around, Pastor Williams is here. Just, the ministers are ministering, let them continue, but... Those that are around, even if it's just me and Pastor Williams, please, let's pray on the request. 
after we pray on the requests I'm going to begin to move prophetically and speak this is the time you will receive are you listening to me stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to pray in tongues Bishop Stretch your hands. Shaba la bara do krasta bara bara. Rata kata prata kada bara bara bash. Paroka prande prade shida. Do miracles, oh God. Mareka da bara 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 bash. Solve every problem here, oh God. And for all our Facebook, Twitter. Egyptians, you see them no more. These 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 Egyptians. You are conquered. Whatever is conquered here is conquered. All over this country and around the world, we release testimonies, miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, by your hand, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, by your great power, let there be miracles on this request. Miracles, supernatural miracles, terminate sicknesses, terminate diseases, never to return. Creative miracles in the name of Jesus. All oh, supernatural jobs, supernatural wisdom, let it be done by your spirit. Miracles by your spirit. Supernatural miracles by your spirit. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason. Lift your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. I want you to receive every prophetic word because the creative power of God is going to swing into motion. The creative and prophetic power lift your hands as I pray I'd like you to shout a loud amen with your spirit hallelujah right now doors of delay I command you be opened in the name of us Delay, be gone. Delay, be gone. Delay, delay in marriage. Delay in jobs. I cause it to its root. I release you in the name of Jesus. Every academic bondage. Free academic bondage. Kateka leko sopa. Repete latu sabadi adaka. In the name of Jesus, be free. 
Be free. Be free. Mental blockage. Be free from it. Academic bondage. I set you free. This is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning. I prophesy it by the power of the highest. I call this session for you a season of seven-fold restoration. Seven-fold restoration. Seven-fold. Seven-fold. Not one-fold. Not two-fold. I speak it. Where you have been victimized, any student here who has been victimized right now, whether it is project or service year or whatever, I change it in the realm of the spirit. Any one of your loved ones that has no job between today and the middle of April, I command fearful supernatural joy in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every womb called Barry. I don't care whether the womb has been removed or not. Right now, in nine months' time, you will celebrate miracle children. Be open, every barren womb. Be open. Hallelujah. Every plague of death over your life or your family members. Make sure you are lifting your hands up. Every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things. Because I see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families. I see miscarriage of children. Every plague of death, I command it to pass over you forever. In the name of Jesus. He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. The anointing that brings you above, I call you in the realm of the spirit, rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up a new level of prosperity, a new level of lifting, a new level of wisdom. And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. As surely as the Lord God of Israel lives, let a cloak of favor hit you where you are. Favor! 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 Every terminal disease in this place, HIV, cancer, in the name of Jesus, we terminate it once and for all. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. SS, AS, we change your genotype in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight. 
It is time for the new anointing. Guard up your loins and be ready. Every yoke of bondage surely must be broken. I command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Captivity ends in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm standing in the spirit before a gate and the Lord is telling me let God's people walk to it and move forward in their life. I command you by the spirit and according to the vision of the Lord to me move forward go forward no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it I place you inside it I take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil of your life I release it move forward go forward in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak to you every Egyptian you see today you are the one who knows the Egyptian so lift your hands with faith in your spirit everything called an Egyptian as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives once and for all bye bye to them forever bye bye to them forever in your family bye bye to them bye bye to them I release signs wonders I release miracles take it take it take it take it from the depth of my heart according to the order of grace Take your miracle. Take your miracle. Take your miracle. Everything your hand touches from today. In the name that is above all names. I command it to multiply. brother stand here bring this lady come this is what I'm demonstrating to you what I saw in the spirit that God is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life may the Lord take you where your gift will be needed may the Lord take you where your gift I command demand upon your oil Demand, prophetic demand. Rekoto sata, marekete, letoria, mabrata di, ekrekete le 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 le. Boso brege 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 brege. Brato sata, I command. Every uncompleted family project. Every uncompleted family project. The Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit. And I pray that between now and the next 21 days, I command angels of help. I release it to your families. Receive it. Receive it. Help. Help is coming. Zion's help. The helper of Zion. Move across families. Move across families. I tell you as surely as the Lord lives, between today and the next 21 days, you will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God. Hallelujah. Lift your hands.
I impart spiritual gift upon you. At the count of seven, let fresh fire fall upon everybody. Every one, two, three. My God, do it. I see angels. Four, five, six. There it is. Come on. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Outside. Take it. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Take it. Take it. Take it. Fire. The prophetic. The apostolic. The evangelistic. Teaching mantles. Pastoral graces, leadership, entrepreneurship. I fire it into your spirit. Everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes through you. I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. In the name of the Lord Jesus, doors be open. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. You just receive it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it breakthrough an angel stands in this row take it breakthrough take it take it take it take it right to the back take it take it the Lord gives you a new name whatever you came here for whatever request you brought I command go back with a testimony go back with a complete testimony whatever you came here with go back with a testimony in the name of Jesus and every one of you who came from far and near to catch a fire and catch an anointing go back with that fire go back and reproduce these things and even greater receive it receive it Jam, I'm very serious. Please, don't come here joking. Come here with every sense of seriousness as if you're already writing the exam. Jam, come out. It will take the power of God for some of you. All of you who are sitting, stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues. Let's pray in tongues all over this place. We need miracles. Jam, we have to break this thing right now. I'm angry in my spirit because many of these people are intelligent. They are blessed. They are not dull. Let me tell you, they are not dull. This is just the hand of Satan. Jam. If there's no space, just stand where you are and begin to pray in tongues. Father, we need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. They are believers. They love the Lord. We need your mercy tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look at me. I started praying for jam people from Monday. 
the number of people who came for counseling just to be prayed for for jam i it troubled my spirit and i said lord why are people failing jam like this is it because all of i know some of you didn't read you are just been playing around but there are people who have been serious and almost all the people i prayed for for jam i had to cast out devils from them and then it it dawned on me that there are some people who are suffering innocently hallelujah and we need to pray this night because some of you the truth is the way you are standing now you are not even ready for the jam let's just tell the truth and shame the devil so the mercy of god can take you through where you would not even be able to do you believe in the mercy of god because that's the only prayer i want to pray for you now the mercy of god is not just for sinners hallelujah some of you this is a destiny issue for you because you've written jam four times five times six graduated you are still graduated you are still graduated you are still there we need to take it seriously hallelujah and to pray so i'm going to pray for you lift your hands if it's a demonic thing that devil must go hallelujah thank you jesus christ father this is what you have made this house become a place of breakthrough and in the name of jesus i pray listen lift your hands all of you i'll first rebuke the power that is responsible for stopping some of you as i pray you will know that for some of you it's demonic forces that have been stopping you jesus will lift up your name Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. Now I'm going to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every force of darkness tying anyone's academics here. By the power of the Lord resident in this house, I command those devils of darkness, release God's people now. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost, every act of divination, every spirit that wants to make you fail jam, in the name of Jesus, I curse it. I curse it out of them now. Out of them now. Out of them now. For those of you standing for your loved ones, I command that power to leave you. That power that makes you stand in the exam hall and you blank out until you fail. I challenge it right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. hallelujah lord jesus i pray may the angel of the lord that came to give daniel understanding may that angel of the lord go with you as you write your job in the name of jesus christ i release angels now I release angels from the throne of mercy. May they go with you as you shed. May they go with you. I release angels in the name of Jesus. I release angels as you write where you do not know. May they still guide you in the name of Jesus. Where your strength fails, may the strength of Elohim take you through in the name of jesus christ your resort will not be withheld in the name of jesus christ every spirit of fear in this place fear of repetition of what happened last year i command that spirit of fear go 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 i cause fear go go out now go let boldness come upon you 
let boldness every devil that says you cannot do it fear out of them out of them for God has not given us the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind fear is banished from your life let the heart of a lion be given to you you will go and you will succeed you will go and you will prosper you will go and you will excel I command this devil I see a spirit in this lady is already positioned to destroy her tomorrow I command out out now out now she must pass the job I command you to leave in the name of Jesus out now in the name of Jesus Jesus we lift up your name bring her hallelujah let me tell you there are some of you if not for this night's prayer you would still fail the jam again and you have to wait another year but there is the power of prophecy many of you don't know the power of prophecy it comes see listen listen you can see what is happening right now all these people have been suffering whereas they are preparing the kingdom of darkness is also preparing be free to excel in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ out of her now you are a wicked spirit I know this lady personally and I know how much she has struggled I know how much she studies I had to pay for her lesson personally to make sure that she makes it now she's going to write jam tomorrow this lady is very diligent and hardworking. listen see let me tell you something before you start accusing people when you don't understand what is happening in their life keep quiet are you listening to me because there are people who need the grace of God I know that there are people who are violating principles but where they have tried and done their best and nothing is working that's when God steps in hallelujah all of you who are writing jam say in the name of Jesus or if you are standing in for someone I receive courage I receive wisdom I receive an anointing to excel tomorrow I go with the backing of heaven I write my jump with the backing of heaven I refuse to fear I will excel in the name of Jesus father i pray for your people may they meet above their cutoff point by far in the name of jesus you will not only pass the jam it will give you admission i prophesy it if i be a servant of god there are others you wrote it and passed jam but you didn't get admission with it not only will you write the jam may my God give you admission where men sit down and meet to frustrate you may the hand that the person that hand that can change seasons may it change your results for good in the name of Jesus Christ and I announce to every power you have no right over God's people I put a wall of fire over their lives as the right charm you will write it under an open heavens in the name of Jesus Christ you will write it under an open heavens God bless you please go back rejoicing thank you Jesus Christ ah my spirit is already charged goodness Spirit is boiling with anger right now. All those who are trusting God for jobs, come out and stand here. Shekata Baba. Man Man 
Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. I tell you, my spirit is fired up tonight. I don't know what kind of anointing came upon me this stage, but I'm angry in my spirit tonight. The Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. It said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Look at the number of people trusting God for jobs. There's got to be a way of helping God's people. Are you getting my point? There, there has to be a spiritual way of helping God's people. Let me tell you something. If we cannot help God's people, there is no reason why we should get people born again to leave the traditional thing they are doing and come into Christianity. Are you getting my point? We have no right to stop somebody from to insult somebody who is going to a shrine if you come for a meeting like koinonia and god cannot help you i came i prepared a nice message to come and teach but my spirit is fired up because you see this is the real problem that is bringing many of us and if we don't resolve this thing you can keep hearing the word but the truth is you will celebrate testimonies but when it happens in your life there's no other message that is stronger than that hallelujah please lift your hands we need to dethrone some wicked spirits in this place please follow me instrumentalist hallelujah we're going to pray the bible talks of these four horns that have lifted up themselves against judah some of you graduated with excellent results you have served but your result is like a piece of paper we need to break that power let me tell you it is not by power i taught it in the message give me this mountain there is a lot more there is a lot more please lift your hands there are two things i'm going to do i'm going to rebuke this spirit for many of you there are horns in your families that have said nobody will rise you've gone to school but it's as if you are still in primary school even if you are outside no problem just hang on there with faith god is doing a very prophetic thing tonight i'm about to rebuke these powers and as i take authority over them the fire of god is going to move across these people standing in a very strong way and we are going to break the hand of the devil you will see a release of miracle jobs that will surprise you my god i thank you i give you all the praise in the name of jesus lift your hands father i pray right now by the power of the holy spirit at the count of three let every devil and every enchantment every act of divination responsible for joblessness my god at the count of three may your fire move through and tear down altars right now one two three touch now 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 i cause powers i cause powers i cause powers shake it help them ushers i cause powers in the name of jesus i set them on fire let the fire of god move across everywhere and every spirit that is responsible for joblessness in the name that is above all names we set it on fire now we set it on fire now hallelujah years ago i had a story there 
was someone who wanted to go to NDA and there is a certain height that they take and the person was too short so they told the person we cannot take you so the news got to the emir when the news got to the emir he sent the guy with a message he said go and tell the people that the emir has added his height and they took him did you hear that word he said go and tell them that the emir added the height of the short person we are going to pray i don't want to know what the deficiency is are you getting my point in the name that is a please believe please believe see some of you are already used to intellect so much you don't know the power of the spiritual otherwise you will struggle forever and you will find out that things are not changing because some of you are standing for your loved ones they have been praying praying in the name of jesus i command doors of miracle jobs right now i command doors of miracle jobs right now everywhere you have dropped your cv i move the angels of the lord to begin to bring wherever they have hidden it i pray let the book of remembrance be opened over you tonight in the name of the lord jesus for those of you who maybe because of the quality of your certificate humanly speaking you may not get a job my god because of the anointing he has put in your life let that anointing qualify you in the mighty name of jesus christ may that anointing qualify you in the mighty name of jesus christ whoever has vowed that you will not live to be gainfully employed in the name that is above all names we arrest those powers this night hallelujah for those of you who are working but the work you are doing is like slavery in jesus name we relocate you from that job to something of dignity we relocate you from that job to something of dignity hallelujah please go back to your seat rejoicing go and submit your cvs go and apply knowing that you have an anointing i don't think we're wasting our time this night god is visiting issues and i'm very happy about it hallelujah The next set of people the Lord is ministering that I call whether you or someone in your family that has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb please march out here quickly this fruit of the womb issue even if you come out ten times tonight don't worry Greatly to be praised, greatly to be praised, Father, you reign, great are you, Lord, greatly to be praised. honestly i really feel sad in my spirit for those who could not make it tonight for koinonia because what god is doing in this place i know that there is an unusual anointing in this place hallelujah listen listen those of you standing please listen don't get too used to just coming out and going back listen to me please my bible tells me that children are a heritage from the lord are you getting me 
children are not just the byproduct of a man meeting with his wife children are a heritage from the lord let me tell you the, something about the mystery of barrenness look up please jesus looked at a tree what did he do to the tree to be barren that means what is responsible for barrenness is that true jesus gave us an example of how anything can be made barren he looked at the tree he didn't advise the tree he caused the tree so how do you reverse barrenness are you listening to me jesus looked at a tree that was bearing at least it had leaves are you getting my point and he caused it how did he cause it by making pronouncements did he rub charcoal on the tree he just made pronouncements listen job said that he shall deliver you from the scourging tongues of men you know what the scourging tongues of men the scourging tongues of men are wicked pronouncements we live in a generation where we do not know the power of words we confess we talk it we run around but when a word is spoken with an anointing whether it is demonic or of god the only remedy is if revelation has shielded you from its effect otherwise it will hit you now listen i want to explain to you the mystery of this devilish thing we call fibroid because there are only about four or five things that make people not to be able to give birth they now tell the man he's impotent low sperm count or whatever kind of medical terminology huh and then for the lady they now say she's barring fibroid maybe some cysts or a womb something has happened and now please if you're a doctor here don't don't i'm not i'm not against you don't be offended i'm just telling you that there is a higher spiritual intelligence are you getting my point because this is purely spiritual look at me a lot of people take in most people you see i counsel people all the time it's not what i read in a book it's what i have seen hallelujah the woman takes in huh? and then when she takes in you will find out that she will lie down quietly to sleep and she will have a dream oftentimes and another man will come and sleep with her or another woman or something will happen she will wake up in the morning with blood she's lost the child or all kinds of demonic satanic things but the Bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that means there are handwritings and there are ordinances but the Bible says blotting it out hallelujah do you believe the prayer we're going to pray tonight because we are going to deal with this thing there are some the money they have spent just to get one child is running into millions they've done everything they can do but the God that gives children. If a herbalist by the riverside, brothers and sisters, can bath somebody and give the person a child, we have no right to be telling believers to stop going to herbalists if God cannot give children. Children are a heritage from the Lord. Lift your hands. I know there are, there are only a few of you here that are standing for yourself. Most of you are standing for your loved ones and God opened the womb of Hannah and God opened the womb of Rachel and God opened the womb of Leah whether for yourself or for the person you are standing for I like you to say after time in the name of Jesus I'm a child of God and I declare that my womb is open open to receive and open to give birth normally in the name of Jesus now lift your hands you'll be surprised at what will happen here now then you will know that nothing just happens thank you Jesus Christ hallelujah thank you Jesus Christ my God you are the one doing this I don't even know what I'm doing you need to step in for families we can't keep preaching every week 
and not have people receive. Lift your hands, please. There are lots of chains that will be broken right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Whether for yourself or those you are standing, at the count of four, just four counts, because I see angels with swords. Lord, let the chains be broken. One, two, three, four. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. I cause barrenness. I cause it. I cause it. I command a blessing. Every barren womb receive in the name of Jesus. Every barren womb be opened in the name of Jesus. Everyone called barren. All the covenants and diabolisms that have blocked their wombs. We command miracle children. We command miracle babies. I come against the spirit of miscarriage in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against the spirit of miscarriage. Every fibroid in every womb, I curse you. You will pass out now. Everyone carrying any growth, any tumor, any cyst in the name of Jesus, whether for you or your loved ones, I curse it. Fibroids go, fibroids go without surgery. Fibroids go in the name of Jesus Christ. Any medical complication associated with this barrenness, we change it now. For those who do not have wombs, we don't want to know what happened that the wombs were lost. This night, we give them new wombs every damaged womb we are not praying for healing we create a new one by the word of God that created the heavens and the earth that nine months from now there will be celebration of miracle children I prophesy it I decree it let the power of God bring it to pass hallelujah God bless you. Please go back to your seat rejoicing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shatata balada da 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 ba karaba da balada da ba. Hallelujah. Now, I'm led to pray. Listen, this is a special prayer, and please don't be emotional about it. There are certain people here, you're having acute academic challenges. It's not because you are dull. Your own has become a serious issue. You know you need prayer. March out quickly. March out quickly. If you are ashamed, sit down on your seats here. There are people who are serious. You came here tonight. Your results were released for some of you. And you know that your academics is in a state of emergency. Come out here, let's deal with this thing once and for all. Can you play strings? Please? We refuse to believe that you are dull. The devil is a liar. Please come quickly, find your way. Just come here. Let's save time. Goodness. That's eight. If this is all we do today, no problem. Hallelujah. If this is all we do today, no problem. next week is a powerful communion service we'll be having communion and i'll be laying hands on everybody everybody who comes i'm going to be laying hands on everybody praying in tongues and speaking hallelujah i'm going to be sharing a powerful revelation on the mystery of the blood hallelujah it's going to be a powerful communion service we'll be serving communion and it will be an anointing service again I'm going to lay hands on everybody. Hallelujah. Things must change. We are going to force things to change. Hallelujah. Please, if you can find your way, come in. I, I want to see you, but if you cannot, no problem. We need to rebuke academic issues. Hallelujah. Listen. Let me tell you something. 
Not everyone you see struggling academically is struggling because they are not serious. Out of him. Now, come out. I hear the chains falling, falling. Oh, oh. I hear the chains falling. You must let him go. You are a wicked spirit. I hear the chains falling. See, that power must let you go this night. That power must let you go this night. Hallelujah. How many of you have had so many people telling you, I was the best student in my secondary school. I was very good. Some of you here, as you are standing, you cannot even believe that you are the one going through what you are going. Because if you tell people, they will not believe. You were exceptional people. But as soon as you stepped in, something happened. Some of you literally, during exam, this thing they call exam fever, and people laugh about it. They've even given it a name, exam fever. It's a wicked and demonic thing. What is exam fever? It's not because of tension. You wrote Wayek, you wrote Jam, you enter the university see the the reason can i tell you something listen the reason why many people are suffering like this is because there is no platform to help them explain what they are going through so they just keep quiet they go to church on sunday and they rejoice they go to church weekdays they rejoice but the truth is this see my teaching tonight was to teach us on loving god more but the sincere truth is these are the worries that are stopping us from being passionate about God. Is that true? It's not enough to just say love God. He said, how can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Take us back to our land and we'll sing the Lord's song. How can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? It's very difficult. Hallelujah. There are some of you right here. You are the only ones in your family that are in school and the devil wants to make sure that he kicks you out by all means it's because she's part of that word that i just said that's why hallelujah there are some of you they are saying if you don't do well you will just go and get married because this your thing is like you are not moving anywhere marriage is not a quick way of escaping it's not escapism hallelujah i'm going to pray for you that a hand will come upon you and oh, see the bible says that jesus opened up their understanding that means it can be locked are you getting my point jesus opened up their understanding so that they may understand the scriptures you are not dull some of you have even believed it. Jesus died to make sure that you excel. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And I don't care what your CGPA is right now. Even if you have been withdrawn, I want you to know that there is hope for you. Many preachers may not tell you this. They will just criticize and say this. You are an embarrassment to redemption. You are not an embarrassment to redemption. It's because of you redemption happened. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And right now, I want to prophesy and speak over your life. Lift your hands, please. In one minute, talk to the Lord and say, Lord, I've been struggling with this thing. Now you have located me. Please solve this problem. Please pray. Some of you are absolutely intelligent. We refuse to believe that you are dull. Kick away that thing. I don't care what your results have said. Talk to the Lord from the depths of your heart. Some of you have refused to sleep for weeks. This is what has tied you down. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. Let me pray. Of course, there are spirits that are responsible. Some of you listen. What you need 
is to get serious as simple as that for some of you that's all you need you don't need any deliverance you just need to obey the principles of diligence see yet a man diligent you are not diligent you need to leave wrong associations and find godly people who are doing well some of you what you need is humility you are not doing well and you are very arrogant you won't humble yourself and meet the people who can help you in this kingdom you must be humble are you getting me for some of you is inferiority complex because you went to a secondary school where you use stone and you you sat down and the blackboard somebody holds it so what so what about that and you have allowed the society to make you feel you are nobody i can't speak english very well i'm not as fine as they are other people attended queen's college and us we attended school that we are the people that were building the school as we're attending the lecture <laughs> so you feel discouraged no tonight i cancel that pronouncement over your life lift your hands let me pray and rebuke those spirits now thank you jesus please help me with the symbol at the count of three i'm going to pray goodness i'm telling you the fire of god is going to come on a very in a very mighty way lord jesus every power holding your academics at the count of three i set them on fire one two three take it now leave them i command those powers be taken from your academics i rebuke those spirits of failure inferiority i set them on fire on fire now on fire now by the power of the holy ghost i set those spirits on fire let those people go let those people go i command that you excel i prophesy that you excel everyone on probation we take you out of probation tonight in the name of jesus those who have been withdrawn we pray that they will accept you in another department and you will excel though weeping and just for a night i prophesy to you joy comes joy comes with the morning i prophesy to you he said is there hope for a tree though it be cut off at the scent of water this night i command every academic dry pole come alive come alive come alive come alive every spell every divination over your academics i set you free now in the name of jesus whoever has made pronouncement over your life that you will not excel i cause that prophecy i cause that word i bless you i bless you prosper i bless you i bless you in the name of jesus let the blessing cause you to prosper hallelujah anyone called god anyone called god there's nobody that god created that is god anyone called god i change that testimony tonight in the name of jesus hallelujah there are some of you here you are like wounded soldiers but we bring you the bomb that is in gilead tonight others may have insulted you and made it look like nothing good can come out of your life but i prophesy to you you can rise again are you hearing me listen some of you are starting afresh they have laughed at you but start the hand of god will go with you in no time you will pursue you will overtake and that which has been prophesied over your life will come to pass everyone who has scorned you and pushed you and ridiculed you may they see you in your glory may they see you in your glory 
And when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. And our hearts were filled with laughter and said, They among the hidden, the Lord has done great things for us. He said, The Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O God, like the streams of the Negev. Lord, I pray you turn around situations here tonight. Turn around situations, O God. There are some of you. This is your last session to do well in that department. And if you don't do well, they may withdraw you. I pray by the mercies of the God of David. Oh God, remember those you died for. Let a book of remembrance be opened tonight. May you rise miraculously out of probation. Hear me? And anyone here who has been unjustly treated, that the sincere truth is that your result now you are holding what is not your own. May the Lord of Sabaoth, the one who avenges for men, may that God avenge for you. That anyone who has victimized you because of your Christian integrity and you are suffering today because of your integrity, let the Lord of Sabaoth arise in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Please go back to your seat. Thank you for lifting. 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 God is really dealing with issues tonight. I'd like you to just settle down I'm just don't mind me if you're coming here for the first time tonight please just let us do our mad things the way we are doing it hallelujah how many of you agree that God is visiting issues tonight whatever prayer you prayed this week God had you maybe it's because the prayer band people are doing retreat tomorrow they have shaken the heavens Venga. People have prayed their lives and they have said enough is enough i just came and mounted the stage and god said no way hallelujah praise the lord jesus praise the lord jesus hallelujah i want to pray for a special set of people right now um there are families please can you hear me outside can you hear me say amen Okay, God bless you. Thank you. There are families here that have one or two people that are as stubborn as anything. How many of you know what I mean? I don't just mean rebellious. You have some people that even the community around you is tired of. Parents drag their children and bring them for counseling. Once I see a mother enter and I see a son following, I know that this son has caused headache. Are you getting me? The church is the light of every city. If for now, we may not be able to build boreholes and the rest, we can rehabilitate these stubborn children. That's a, st a place to start. There are testimonies in this place of children or people who came and were as stubborn as anything from those who are thieves. Huh? It's not just guys, guys and ladies. Some of you, you are here, as I mentioned the case, don't just stand for somebody. You know that there's this spirit in you. It's called the spirit of rebellion. There are some of you who still, no matter what happened, listen, we are a family tonight. Koinonia is not where everybody says, tell them or point accusing fingers. Everybody has something he's trusting God to bring him out of. Are you getting my point? So this is a family in this place tonight. There are people who have struggled with these rebellious spirits. 
Some of you even beat up your loved ones. You are a lady, but when that thing comes upon you, you can even beat somebody as, as, as big as Kenny or Shedrach. And then later you just cool down. You'll say, what happened? You say, they made me angry. You need deliverance, quickly. Let me just tell you. Praise God. Now don't get, when I talk of deliverance, I'm not necessarily talking of turning your head. You need a separation between you and that spirit. Let's define what we call deliverance here. So that you don't just think, I mean, go and fast for 12 days, do this. Uh -uh. What is happening? Every time the word comes, is able to deliver. Hallelujah. So whether you are standing for your loved ones or for yourself, there are some of our brothers here, you, you love God, or at least you have an interest for the things of the kingdom. But this rebellious spirit, even you, you cannot explain. Together with those of you who are involved in smoking and drinking, this is a strange night. Praise God. We are not just going to do an altar call secretly between you and God. I'm going to pray. This is not an altar call. This is a call to say, Lord, I'm tired. I can't keep hiding this thing. Praise God. Are you getting my point? Please come out quickly. Well, come out quickly. Come and stand. If you are standing for yourself, stand in front and start praying. Start praying and say, Lord, enough is enough. Don't let anybody laugh at you. God is changing you. Please stand. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is a factory where God is building people. And all of you who are sitting, please be praying in tongues. Everybody sitting, begin to pray in tongues. Begin to pray in tongues. Let's set this atmosphere on fire. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Forget about who is looking at you. Forget about who is looking at you. Hallelujah. 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 There are some of you who are standing in for yourselves. There's no reason to be afraid or ashamed. For those ones, I'm going to hold your hands and I'm going to pray for you. And then we'll prophesy for all the rest. Please, if you know that you have seen this thing is in your own life, not that of your brother, whether you're a guy or lady, please move forward here. Come and stand and let me pray for you. If you are ashamed, please go back. We are very serious. Even with all this encouragement, you don't see any. Just stay back. Please. These are things we are dealing with. This is spiritual rehabilitation so that your Christianity will be authentic. It may not be your fault. Hallelujah. 95 percent of these so-called stubborn or rebellious people every time i talk with them some of them begin to cry and they tell me in all sincerity i don't like it are you getting me there are ladies here weak there is no weak you don't follow a man to sleep with him you are born again you even pray in tongues people have told you it's all right you are the righteousness of god but you know that that theology is not it's not it's true that you are the righteousness of god but something is happening in your life that is negating that and it must be dealt with there are some of our brothers you love god some of you still as anointed as you are once you just sit down a spirit tells you exactly where the place is and you go and carry it they give them every kind of scientific name I don't care what the name is. It must bow this night. Are you getting what I'm saying? When I finish, then I'll prophesy over everybody. Everybody must go home with something this night. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, those of you standing in front for our time, I'll pray with you very quickly. I'm not going to ask you what the issue is. But I want you to believe. Listen. There are some of you, your own issue is money. Once you see money, hi. You don't, it's like an anointing comes on you. Once you see money, the issue of born again is out of the way. Please, 
I want you to know if nobody has told you that it's a serious issue. That's what has stopped some of you from getting married. You have vowed that if the guy is not established and a millionaire, he should back to sender. You keep saying all those things and you are laughing about it. If you've been laughing about it, let me challenge you. You better hear what I'm saying and take it as the voice of God. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with God blessing you with a millionaire. But everybody starts somewhere. It's only the grave that you start digging from the top. Every other thing you start from under. Hallelujah. I'm going to agree with you. And those spirits will leave you. You will go back home a changed person. And you will find out that those lost. See, do you know the... Listen, let me tell you. You are truly delivered if the urge to do what you are doing has left you. If you are still enduring and using willpower, you need prayers. Are you getting me? There are men who are not sleeping with ladies, but they cannot look at a fine lady like this and go back home safely. That one look, it will take one week, recovery of one week. You will reboot your spiritual life again. You need prayers. Don't let anybody tell you it's normal. Everybody is like that. Then what is the purpose of the power of the Holy Spirit? If we are not faking this thing and we believe the power of God is real, something can happen to you. Are you getting my point? Or you are not stealing. You've not carried it. It's just that opportunity has not presented itself yet. But once you are still struggling with the urge for something, you need prayers. As simple as that. Never convince yourself that everything is over yet. Once you find out that there is something still pushing you, you get up and you know that you just want to go to the man's house. He just calls you and says, Ah, I'm in Kano, close to you here. Can you come? Just take a cab, I'll pay. And you are just thinking, should I go? Should I not go? If I go, I'm coming back with nothing less than 50,000. If I don't go, I'm struggling this weekend. But I've had a message. And while you are listening, God will remind you of one coin on your message. And you will hear me with my big mouth lashing this thing again and again. And God will say, choose. Choose by yourself. Ladies, if you cannot look at a man and tell him, I stand for Jesus and I will hold on to my Christian integrity, you need prayers and revelation. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm telling you this from the depths of my heart. This is not condemnation. I'm helping you. Jesus, we thank you. Those of you sitting, stretch your hands towards them. Let me pray quickly for the people in front. Somebody help me. Let me see. Okay. I'll just pray for them very quickly. Very quickly. Once I pray. As I lay my hands on you, just begin to confess that you are free. Free. Go. Leave her. Now. smokers make sure you join them i'm not going to ask you whether whatever you are smoking indian ham benelline we we everything join them i don't care what it is once you are smoking something you need prayers i'm serious about it please i don't care whether this is your first time or you are a pastor 
there's nothing to be ashamed of once you have this addiction of drunkenness and smoking join them is this spirit of rebellion go ahead worship him help me. I won't go back I won't go back out 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 Jesus Christ, I set you free. And right now, in the name of out, right now is the moment. Today is the day. I've been changed. I've been changed. I've been changed. I have waited. I have waited for you. are standing for somebody i'm going to pray generally i'm just praying for those who are standing for themselves just be patient i will speak over your life we need salvation for listen if koinonia is here and at least samaru is not we can build borehole for people but if the crime rate does not reduce if there are still bad people around we are hypocrites we are just doing jamboree and doing church are you getting me but if the families in the days of John G. Lake, Spokane was the neatest and cleanest and healthiest city in the whole world. Because they were envoys. This is what apostolic reformation is all about. It's not just speaking grammar. That you left your home a thief and you came back a prophet and apostle. Something must happen to your loved ones. Wait and see. After this prayer, some of them will follow you for miracle service. Those who have vowed that they won't come, you will see them coming because they tried all their rehabilitation. They took your name to prophets. Nothing happened. Hallelujah. Listen, I have a very serious word of advice. Maybe it's because you've never had a preacher say it. But let me say some things very clear sex outside marriage is sin everybody say noted so that you are never confused again that maybe they didn't say it or they said it i'm taking this issue very seriously sex outside marriage of any kind for whatever reason is sin forget about your past are you getting what i'm saying i'm not condemning you past is past 
Number two, stealing money from people, your loved ones and people around in the name of playing tricks and pranks brings a cost to your life. I don't care what revelation of redemption you have. You keep stealing willfully and consciously and see what happens because the scriptures cannot be broken. Are you getting what I'm saying? Brothers, we, we, Benelin, what's the name of that other thing? Codin. What again? Huh? These people made these drugs as a way of adding value to humanity. And these wicked spirits started working in people. You ask them a simple question. One plus one they cannot answer. But they know which drug can take you high. That's spiritual. Are you getting me? A time will come we are going to organize a service and bring these people. And you will see the power of God setting these people free. There's no need just talking. At, they are the ones stealing around. And if we really want the crime rate to reduce. And we want to, them to stop raping our ladies in the night and doing all kinds of things. They must be delivered. This is not just the issue of police station. This is the issue of the power of God. Then the church will have an influence with government because they will know that it's not just Bible study on Sunday, but there is what we call apostolic reformation. There is enough power to help anybody who desires to be helped, no matter how stubborn they are. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come, please take a powerful worship. Sam, just take a powerful worship as I pray for these people. How many people are left here? All right, let me. If I pray for you, please just step back so that I just finish up with these people very quickly. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I don't care what the issue has been. If you are in a relationship with a married man, as soon as we are sharing the grace, send him a text. Hello, ladies. If you are in a relationship with any man that is married and has a wife, send him a text. Tell him a man of God spoke to you and now your eyes are open. Don't insult him. Say, I have gotten the truth. I love you. Whatever is not working with your wife, I invite you for koinonia. God will solve it. Leave their marriage so God can give you your own. When you enter and destroy another man's marriage, I'm saying it now. Somebody must say this thing. You are not a counselor. Say the man says he's not satisfied with his wife. They need prayers. They don't need you. You are coming in now as what? A well-wisher? Don't take anybody's wife. The same thing with men. Don't take anybody's woman because you have money and then you think you are married. You are a big boy. And this, let's stop these things. Somebody has got to talk. Hallelujah. So that God can now bless you. Bible says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will heal their will, will forgive their sins and heal their land. Hallelujah. Sam, please. Any song? Okay, let's pray quick. Thank you, Jesus. So we say I set you free. Can't go back. Turn away just to be with you. So the Lord can use her. In the name of Jesus, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, everything that sponsors the rebellion, leave her now.
now. everybody headache from stealing to prostitution hallelujah there are some they won't go to school they won't do anything but they can cause trouble to everyone it's not normal don't hate them stop hating them now you have spiritual intelligence to know that there are spirits that operate Trying to hate them and just beat and box them will not solve the problem. You can even call police to come and flog them. They can jail them for one week. They will come out and repeat the same thing. But you try the power of God and see what will happen. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Father, this is one of the reasons why you set up this platform. And in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Let there be deliverance and salvation to those ones in the name of Jesus. I declare that beginning from tonight, may the Lord begin to convict their hearts. May they be born again and mightily used by God. I prophesy that they will be born again and mightily used by God. We choose to see the goal that is in them. We choose to see the great destiny. We declare that their lives are not useless. No matter how much they have wasted their life, my God gives them another chance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now I've prayed for them. On your own path, as much as you can, talk to them. Listen, it's not just to bring them for koinonia. You are anointed. You have been using cane to flog them. One day, get angry in your spirit and speak to that spirit and you watch what will happen in your house. You will see the drama of the power of God. See, this is why some of our parents or some loved ones do not believe that your coming for koinonia is blessing you. If all you are taking back is koinonia messages, they will be blessed, but they need to see an evidence in your life that something is working hallelujah god bless you please go back to your seat quickly one last category and we are done for tonight goodness 
please don't miss next week's communion service I already sense that God is doing very, very, very mighty things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, I don't want you to just come out emotionally. Hallelujah. Whether you are inside or outside. If you run a business, if you have a business, whether it's a family business or it's your own. I'm not saying if you are thinking of an idea or if you are just doing something small around. You know that whether it's a family business, whatever it is, from poultry to whatever, and you think that you want to see the hand of God in your business and that of your family members, please, I'm begging you, let's save time. Hallelujah. If you belong to that category, you know that you just need the touch of God. I want you to come out and stand here. Trust him. Trust him that God will do something. Please, the sound. Now, while they come, I want to encourage everyone here. Please listen, inside and outside. While you are waiting for jobs and other things, especially for the guys, I want to challenge every one of you here. Hallelujah. Just stand. I'm going to pray for you. Please take this very seriously. Something will happen to you. But I want you to listen. Those of you who are not doing anything, I'm challenging you tonight. You can't keep sitting down and waiting for a job. Brothers and sisters, the sincere truth is that in the world that we live today, just having one stream of income of your job will not do you good. I hope you know that. Praise the Lord. I don't care even if it is 200,000 per month you are receiving. It will not be enough. It may be enough for you now because you are stingy and greedy and you are doing everything for yourself. Let children come. How much is the school fees of one child? A very good school. Good school. Huh? Over 100,000 plus. You can imagine. Now you have been shouting. You are training your children with 150 and you are collecting 100,000. Your entire life till you die, till high blood pressure kills you will be on deficit. But you need you is it doesn't just mean to jump into things foolishly here and there but let me tell you listen listen you must get up and do something the man with one talent sat down for somebody in this place this is the message god is telling you if you if you are afraid of doing business you can start a poultry at least what is wrong with three or four of you listen i'm very serious just just stop this. Let me press this thing down. Praise God. What is wrong with three or four of you bringing 50, 50,000 naira together huh? and buying one small golf and getting somebody honest to be putting it on the road for you? You bought a phone of 70,000 naira. That's your destiny there. You are holding it on your hand and moving around. Are you getting what I'm saying? I don't just want to pray and chorus this like music. Some of us are not doing anything about our lives. You must get up. There are ladies here. I challenge one of our ladies. She came to me and I said, you are good. What can you do? She said, I can bake. I said, bake what? She said, cupcakes. I said, what has stopped you from baking cupcakes? Five or ten. Package it very well. Give it a beautiful name. You think people won't buy it? You will sit down and be thinking about the idea and then somebody will do it and you will be biting your finger. Not taking a risk is a greater risk. Some of you are afraid. What if my money goes? That you kept it. Are you not eating the money? The money is still going. Praise the Lord. Seek advice. Seek advice. We teach on finances to be able to help us. I don't believe in people getting anointed alone and remaining poor and broke. And now is the time to start. Start and fail honorably. Fail honorably and do it again. 
It's better than sitting down. Oh God, Jordan is here. Oh, Jordan, wave your hand. Oh God, Jordan is here. I knew when he started his bookstore. The room was so small. It was just like this little place. But today, God has honored him. He's already making modalities to enter partnership with people like Evangel and all of these people going to China to bring in books. He started small. My brother, where is this gentleman? This guy that made tomato. Wave your hand now. This gentleman came to me for counseling, I remember. And he told me. I said, what, what can you do? He said, I can do irrigation tomato or something. And he did it. Within a month or two, this guy brought a black leather full of very heavy, big, big tomatoes. But someone was still sitting down there. There is something you can do. Say, I will do something. Say it. Some of you brothers, you are sitting there. The truth is there's something small in the account. Maybe 20,000. Maybe 10,000. If you start a small recharge card, this thing. Challenge yourself. Don't let Nigerians with their, with their fear come and meet you and tell you this and that. If you are afraid of moving forward, you will be broke in this life. Let me tell you the truth. Brothers, challenge yourself. God is speaking to you this night. I'm not saying just get into every kind of hustling and get into every kind of gimmicks and scammings around. No. But you can settle down with directed financial intelligence. You can do something that can bless you. Ladies, how many of you bake here? If you know you bake to the glory of God, let me see your hands. Why are you sitting down? Is that not your gift? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Have you tried it and failed? When you fail, you learn the lessons and get back. Hallelujah. There are all kinds of fields around. If you get a small place and start poultry, within six to seven weeks, they are ready. Some of you are good. How many of you are good in graphics? Good in graphics. You know that you are good enough to, to you see that. Can't you start something? Look at the media. Imagine if you are so good, why can't you come and advertise yourself and tell the media, I'm very good. Give me job to do for Koinonia. If you bring proposals and we look at it and it makes a lot of sense, we'll take it. And we'll pay you for it. We won't say you're a Christian brother. We'll pay you for your value. But have you taken a step? No. Some of you make shirts. How many of you make shirts? Let me see your hands. You make shirts. Honestly, you make shirts. You. And you have never made any shirts for me. And I know you. You see what you are saying? Ejimi, when Ejimi started making shirts, it was iron. Hot iron. What do they call it? Is it screen printing? No, that's not screen printing. Yeah? Heat transfer. You will press the iron on the shirt and then we'll, we'll go on with it. Challenge yourself. Let's not just keep saying demons, demons, demons. Where it is our own part to play, let's play it. Is that true? I feel like everybody should stand up. Everybody stand up. You must join them in this, in this one. Why are you sitting down? With everything that I've said, you are supposed to be standing up and even raising two hands. <laughs> Let's pray and then after it, we'll take the altar call. I want everybody to be blessed. Not everybody will be a man of God to stand on stage and be receiving honorariums. But there is something you can do. Everyone say, there's something I have. I, I cast out that spirit of fear that stops you from taking action. Fear of losing, fear of I cast it out in the name of Jesus. If you must be blessed in life, it takes audacity. It takes gods. Hallelujah. Ladies, how many of you plat? I know Selena plat. Where is she? Selena. She has run away. Okay, look at her. Some of you plat. But the problem is, you are like the man with the one talent. You buried it and sat quietly. Have you come out to make yourself known? Look, let me tell you. If you think you have what it takes, market yourself. And we will promote you. I assure you. If you think you have what it takes, and you believe you are prepared to stand, we are not going to bring crooks. As I'm saying this now, let me balance it. You are a crook who will pray, we will send you away. We will pray for you. If you become a headache, we'll send you away. Clean business with the dignity of kingdom integrity. Fail honorably. We'll clap for you and pray for you again. But don't sit down and not do anything. 
Hallelujah. And then start small. Some of you want good luck, Jonathan, to call you to be his secretary. Start small. Start small. Start small. How many of you make um, maybe mouthwash or lotions or soap and all of that? How many? Look at. Look at your money. See all your money here. Everybody. How many of you sell perfumes or cosmetics? You see that? Look at. I'm not saying you should come to church and come to do business around. But there, there are thousands of people. Please, I'm challenging you. Take it very seriously. Oh boy, you make cake now. Raise your hand. Why didn't you wave your hand? That gentleman, wave it very well. That gentleman makes exceptional cakes. The first time his sister made cake for me was in 2006. My birthday, Debbie. Ah! <laughs> that cake made sense. And then another thing I'll tell you again is, maybe the reason why you are where you are is you need to improve on yourself. Don't be a local champion and keep smiling. We will not patronize your product. And don't be angry. Don't say all this coin. On your, we won't buy it. Let me tell you in advance. You make a shirt that does not align this place. To here. We will not buy it, sir. So learn and be excellent. Say I'll be excellent. I'll be excellent. How many of you fry chicken? You know the guy, Kentucky fried chicken. I think he was about 64 years or 84 years thereabout. It was frustration that led that man to start KFC. You see it around. Kentucky fried chicken. Today he has, he's a multi-millionaire, if not a billionaire, because he dared to take a step. You don't have to do everything. You are doing chin chin. You are doing bones. You are doing uh, every, No, no. Specialize somewhere. This is what I always tell people. Jack of all trades, you are, they say, what are you doing? Say, I'm doing everything. I'm, I make beats. I also sell pure water. Calm down. Focus on something. Kenny, your aunt, where is Kenny? Your auntie does what? What does she do? She sells coke. She retails coke. She makes so much money. Maybe in one day, what her salary will give her in one month. And we are still sitting down here. Is it that you are calling yourself dull or you are saying you cannot make it? Please challenge yourself. Brothers, God is speaking to you. I know that we are advising the sisters and saying start small, but you too cooperate. Haba, the small cannot be too bad like that. Cooperate. Let's balance the equation. Because some of us, we can't keep telling the sisters, okay, just come with anybody and the brother is not doing anything. You too be sincere. If the sister was your daughter, will you just give her to any man like that? Rise up and do something. Have you taken proposal to go and meet the schools around and say, I need to change your school uniform. I need to redesign it. Everybody may say no, but somebody will say yes. Hallelujah. I spent four good weeks teaching on financial dominion so that we will take steps. We were discussing with somebody on the potentials of seeing a laundry service around. Very excellent laundry service. There are some of you who can do it. Package yourself. I think it was with my sister. Baby, it was you, Abby? Yes. We're talking with my sister. And then, okay, Kenny, you were there too, and, and those boys. We sat down and we're talking. My sister, this lady wants to start a car wash. As you see her like that. She can't be my sister and she's not. The Bible says, let this mind be in you. Force it to be in you too. She's starting a car wash. A copper, but she's going to start a car wash. How old are you? You want to wait until the day it dawns on you that your energy is fading. Lift your hands. Don't go and steal. Don't go and do anything bad. But set it down. Many of you are crying and say, capital, capital, hold on. How many of you know about you win? At least you win is not a scam. We all know that is genuine. How many of you applied? You see that? Whereas there are people I know in this place who can settle down and help you prepare good business proposals. 10 million naira, not debt. Grant, 
that the government is giving. And let me tell you, they are very fair. I know some of our people here who got it. And I know they are very fair and genuine. How about submitting a proposal? Or at least partnering with somebody else. You can partner with somebody else. By the time the money comes, so a few of our people here got, got it. Brothers and sisters, let's wake up. God is talking to us. Hallelujah. Let's not just be falling down. Take it, take it, and fall down. But let's get up and do something. Hallelujah. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. How many of you fix computers? You know that you know anything around computers. Okay, Moses, who again? Honestly, why can't you start a very good factory? Genuinely, if you can't fix the person's phone or computer, tell the person I cannot do it. How many of you bring in cars? Anybody does that? You just brought a car from Abuja now. Did you do it well? Clean business. You got your own commission. That's what we are talking about. You don't have to play pranks and tricks to be blessed. Are you getting me? Please, I'm challenging you. Hear me inside and outside. I'm going to pray now, but I want to challenge everyone. I don't just want to chorus it just like that. And then we don't do anything. In the whole of Amadou Bello University, for instance, at least let me use one institution. Is there an ice cream machine there? Please answer me. Is there an ice cream machine? Look at. And there are over 40,000 potential customers. There are some of you here, the money you have right now in your account can buy 10. Why don't you prepare a proposal? Three or four of you. Don't just choose people because they are Christians and then they cheat you and you come and give me a headache here. Use financial intelligence. Are you getting me now? So that somebody, because I'm aware that in a crowd like this, there are all kinds of people. Don't let anybody come in the name of the Lord and carry you and then go and do some kind of funny things. No. But with proper financial intelligence, some of you here, you have the potentials to be paying the school fees of others. You are looking for a job that will give you 30000 whereas God wants to make a nation out of you. An ice cream machine. An ice cream machine. Let me tell you. I remember when one guy opened an ice cream machine some years ago. I was spending more than 1000 a bit 2000 per day just to buy for myself and others. One tiny cup like this. One color. Not even chocolate and this. One milk color. See, as a Christian, take the anointing you are receiving and let it open your eyes to see opportunities. Are you getting my point? Where others are looking, you should see. Don't let anybody tell you you are small. No. Challenge yourself. This is how to get out of poverty. Please do it and fail honorably. If you did it in integrity, my God will revisit you and you will rise up again. Hallelujah. At this level, it may be unwise for you to start thinking, I want to develop an estate. You may not have that kind of money. It may require tens and hundreds of millions to do that. So why don't you start small? How many of you are producers, music producers? You can produce. You can produce, Mike. You can produce. You too. You too. See? Have you packaged yourself enough have you tried to do a jingle proposal for media? Why don't you do a jingle proposal for media? Have you done it and they didn't pay you? Let me tell you something. In as much as we are working in the body of Christ, are you getting my point? I understand the principle of rewarding value. Can I tell you something? I'm challenging everyone in this place. If you have something you think can make Koinonia a better place and you package it, bring it as a proposal. If we love it, we will honor you and we will pay you for it. I guarantee you. Every week, welfare is cooking. Why can't some of you make poultry? Look at our ladies. Shortly, I'm going to be announcing some new weddings that have come up now. Why don't you go and meet them and say, I have 100 birds. Just book. How much is one bed? 1,005. One five. Now, if you have 100 beds, or let's say 50 beds, how much is that? About 75,000 there about. And then they carry the money and they are giving somebody and we are sitting in the body of Christ. Please, let's be wise Christians.
times have changed. Are you getting my point? I'm saying this from the depths of my heart to challenge us. Don't say there is nothing I, can, I cannot do. He said, what do you have in your house? There is always something in your house. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. There is something you have in your house. You can sell clothes. Do you know, listen, I have been shocked. Many of you, you have seen me come to stand here to minister. And you know that as ministers, we are always wearing clothes. And some of you have... There are, see, if this was in the east or this was in the south, somebody will sit down and say, let me study the kind of shirt this person is wearing. Let me study this and that. And then you start producing. It's only one lady. Where is she? Our decoration mama. Where is she? I think she was the only one together with Ada. It was you, right? Together with Ada that they were able to put something on ground because she's a fashion designer. As a fashion designer, you are there throwing your money, designing rags all around, and people are not buying. Design something decent. How many brothers dress well here? There are some of you who can sell nice suits. You may not be able to afford certain levels, maybe 30,000, 40, 50, 100, but you can start small. Many brothers here don't know where they sell suits. Why don't you bring it closer home? hallelujah some of you draw how many of you draw you are painters or you are artists you you did very well you are one of the best students now in your have you tried to do a proposal to say when it is somebody's birthday you can say i can point, paint your picture Thirty thousand people are selling one of those artworks have you done anything so let's stop blaming god when we have not taken any step Hallelujah. Let's lift our hands. Thank you, Jesus. As we lift our hands in worship, as we praise your holy name, you deserve the glory and the honor. Father, we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. For you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you, for you are great. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for your people by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let an anointing come upon every business in this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that your businesses will rise beyond these limits. From the realm of thousands, we take it to the realm of millions from the realm of millions we take it to tens of millions and hundreds of millions and billions in the name of jesus for those of you trusting god for creative ideas may my god give you creative ideas in the name of jesus christ for those of you who started and failed i bring a word of encouragement go back again re-strategize and go back again and may my god lift your hands this time around in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray that your products and your services whatever it is that you have to do beginning from zaria here or whatever your locality is may the lord announce it for you in the name of jesus christ may the spirit of excellence come upon you that you will package and design your products with top quality and excellence and may it bring you abundance may it bring you plenty in the name of jesus christ i rebuke the spirit of fear fear of failure fear of loss fear of defeat i curse it in the name of jesus i command every dry bone in this place to come alive live again all the ideas 
all the partnerships all the sponsorships all the endorsements that you need to rise from where you are to the next level may my god give it to you in the name of the lord jesus may my god give it to you hallelujah god bless you please go back to your seat quickly let's celebrate jesus christ keep standing as i make the altar call hallelujah i'm sorry for tonight i couldn't teach god just took it in another dimension and we give him all the praise it doesn't happen all the time but we thank him because i know that so many testimonies will come here please don't be afraid to come share your testimonies hallelujah now you're here in this place i know we've been standing please let's stand one more time just to honor those who will come into the kingdom right now hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah now you came to this place tonight and you heard me talk about different areas and there are some of us tonight that will be saying man of god i want you to help me i'm tired of living my life the way i want i've never really made a decision for jesus christ or there are some of you who have made this decision for the lord jesus christ but for some reason you have derailed and you want to come back to christ you want to lay aside all kinds of habits we have prayed and you're saying lord give me a fresh start right now please wherever you are inside or outside i would like to pray with you find your way to the front right now celebrate them as they come don't be afraid god bless you god bless you he's not the only one please wherever you are i want you to come inside and outside inside and outside the lord is giving you a new beginning tonight don't sit back don't be ashamed of anyone god bless you god bless you jesus is calling you god bless you a new experience is a new day for you it's a new day for you god bless you keep coming they are coming from outside celebrate them god bless you god bless you god bless you hallelujah hallelujah thank you so much for taking the boldness to come out your life will never be the same it all starts with jesus hallelujah from my heart to the heavens jesus be the center it's all about you yes it's all about you from my heart to the heavens jesus be the center it's all about you yes it's all about you lift your hands all of you here and say after me jesus i love you with all my heart tonight i repent of my sins change me build me make me and use me for your glory i declare and i make up my mind that i will walk with you forever i denounce sin and satan i receive eternal life in my spirit i declare that i'm born again holy spirit come and live in me make me a great person in the name of jesus christ let me pray for you father thank you for these ones you brought them out by your power sustain them their lives will never be the same in the name of jesus from today they begin a journey forward ever and backward never i give you all the praise in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah thank you so much for coming may god bless you now i want you to just follow the ushers the guys with the tags just follow them and they'll have your details god bless you hallelujah hallelujah those worshiping with us for the first time i'd like you to stand up and please come out here we have a prayer and a blessing for you hallelujah god bless you please come out we celebrate you celebrate all of them thank you thank you for coming those outside don't sit back if this is your first time you're very welcome you're very welcome thank you thank you for coming hallelujah joseph good to see you give me five hallelujah we are neighbors we are neighbors in Joss. i'm happy to see him hallelujah he was a student of foot mina thank you jesus 
We're happy to see every one of you. Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia. Some of you came from far and near. And the Lord will bless and increase you in the name of Jesus. Whatever your desires are, I want to assure you that they will be met in the name of Jesus Christ. You will never be the same because the Lord brought you here to bless you and to increase you. We honor you. We celebrate your grace and we thank you for coming. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again